Good afternoon, I'm Silvia Rossi, um, Senior Research Fellow at Cranfield University. I'm here today with Mr. Sergio Barbarino from Procter & Gamble. Cranfield University and Procter & Gamble are carrying out a project on horizontal collaboration for transport, which is called CO3, Collaboration Concepts for Comodality. The project is funded by the European Commission in the seventh programme framework and uh, I'm here today to ask Mr. Barbarino a few questions about the project and uh, actually we were going to start uh, by saying why did Procter & Gamble decide to collaborate externally? Uh, isn't in, wasn't enough to uh, collaborate internally? Well, the reason we started uh, looking at external collaboration is probably at the origin when we acquired Gillette. After the acquisition of Gillette, we found a lot of synergies between our supply chain and the one of Gillette that we could integrate. But we started asking ourselves a question, do you always need to go through a merger in order to um, achieve this potential collaboration? Could we just start integrating supply chain with other companies without going through the pain of a full merger? And that's where the initial idea came forward that we had to study uh, if there was a possibility to do it otherwise. Okay. But, uh one thing that triggers me is uh, um, why is this project at European level? So why is there the European Commission behind it? Wasn't it possible to just start collaborating? We went through a lot of pain and, uh, and we actually worked for three years in a work group uh, without any EU funding. And we realized that one of the big problems to overcome for uh, collaboration is to creating trust. And uh, one of the biggest issues actually is antitrust um, uh, oversight of companies, especially competitors, that may end up collaborating. Today PNG is not collaborating yet with any competitor, but one of the aim of the CO3 project is to find a structure in which we can get these potential uh, benefits even um, across competitors. And we need to create that trust and that uh, uh, systematic approach so that this can be done with no um, suspicion that there, there are other motives behind uh, the fact of really getting the logistics supply chain more efficient. 